All right, all right. Let's just start with this. I'm okay hitting another copy of um, his fight or Cataclysm or something, but I want to find the units first. Like a vein, a broad wing, all that stuff would be really good. So I'm just going to open pass here. Because uh, our opponent doesn't know that we don't have a unit. <laughs> and then if they try to Poke Stick, I can catch out the Aegis. Yep. And it kind of like wastes their turn. Now they're just behind. Because then I can go like uh, Castaway on their turn, Attune, right? And then Fiora, and I just have two challengers. Reporting in. Captain Timo, reporting for duty. Or I could just have three challengers. Uh, who really needs Castaway? Me. I think I like I, a mana efficiency is just more important here. Yeah, we'll do this That's one. That's all we got? Hey, I've done more with less. Armed and ready. There's enough for everyone. Basically, anything that interacts here is good. Huh. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. That's okay, though. A 6-4 scout is still, like, fine. So depending on what our opponent does here, yeah, like uh, they could have Pale Cascade. So I don't want to go like this. Like if they want to double Pale Cascade to kill my Fiora, like hell yeah. Okay, Sun Surge. That's fine too. Keep the bird healthy. Uh, we get out the Sudden Surge on defense for our opponent instead of offense, which is so good for us because now they just don't deal us like four extra damage. And it was four cost, yeah. Super awkward for our opponent. You best believe I, I don't play. play. What if I just jaw rule them? I held the line. I held it. Hey, trucks! Where are you? Oh, hell yeah. I don't even know if this will be good. Right now, it doesn't quite do anything. I mean, it, it, I could, like, grab Alcat and just threaten a bunch of damage. Now I can't. Anyone seen any sheep around here? I, uh, lost mine. I, uh, lost mine. Just this. We can do this right after if I want to. It only gets one attack here anyway. We're super far ahead here. Sus. Deal. Deal. I think our opponent is possibly getting the um, the roles mixed up in this matchup. Yeah, I don't know what you expected here. <laughs> uh, because our opponent is the beatdown. And they're playing too controlling. 
Like, if you give me time, I can just overwhelm you. Do you see? Ten mo. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna go like <laughs> bird, big bird, <laughs> and then we're just gonna attack them. I held the line. I held it. I suppose I could technically hit 11 mushrooms or 10 or something. It's possible. That could happen. Okay. Very close. We uh, we almost died there. I could have just attacked with the whole squad and it would have gotten there too. Really nothing. Uh, I don't think anything would have stopped that. It's a pretty good start. It surprises me so much going to like any European place. And they're like, oh yeah, no, that's in like this city. You're not in the right spot. And you're like, oh no, how far is that? And they're like, it's pretty far. It's like a 10 minute drive. <laughs> and you're like, what? A 10 minute drive? That's like right next door. What do you mean a 10 minute drive? Where they'd be like, yeah, no, it's like, I don't think you can make it this trip. It's like an hour and a half trip. It's like a whole day. And you're like, what? That's just like a normal drive. <laughs> oh, we want this. We don't want this. We don't want this. I think. Or like, for other Americans in the chat, does it always surprise you guys when, um, if you're not on the East Coast, does it surprise you when the people on the East Coast talk about going from different states? And they're like, yeah, you know, I just zipped down to New Jersey I know what and then jumped over to New York. Was. And you're like, what? Just driving across states over the day? What? I, I can I can drive I can drive 10 hours and still be in California <laughs> out from the darkness got to see you back today you trying out new decks uh new decks are now that's next Wednesday oh that's actually really nice and it demons walk among us masquerading demons walk as among men. Us. masquerading is men Wait, really? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Swift death. They block with this, and then I catch the Darken Harp. Oh my goodness, I'm so good at this game. Wow. Ugh. Uh, um, yeah, because like, I'm like near about Sacramento. I'm not going to tell you exactly where. Look at the draw card. Um, and for me to get down to like LA is like seven hours. And it's like, if here's the whole thing of California, Sacramento's like here and LA's like here. <laughs> I don't like that. I will have none of it. None of that. Nay, nay. Just like glimpse. That's fine. My thoughts on Aatrox? I'm not gonna really talk about it too much. You can watch the uh, you can watch the the video if you want to. My new set reaction video, but I don't want to talk about any of my thoughts on the champs. 
because I don't want to give away any of the testing info. Do I get punished for developing at all? I don't think so, right? Majin trying to fight old ladies. I'm not trying to fight old ladies. I am fighting old ladies, and I'm winning. I'll beat Nora's ass. I'll throw her through a window, bro. I ain't scared. What a freak. How you doing, man? Why, <laughs> Baylor? Ugh. <laughs> Dude, I'm so upset someone has Majin Bay. Like, someone has Majin Bay, and someone has Majin Bay with two eyes. This is so annoying. Hope you have a great stream. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Crumbles maybe a punish? Yeah, I think that's only like a slight punish, right? Because they lose the spider, Vayne dies, um, and then I could like play Forge Chief and then Aegis Broadwing kill Elise. And that seems pretty decent. What are you holding? What is five mana? Let's do this, see what happens. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. Let's make tomorrow today. And then I'll probably just Aegis here. San Diego to Hornbrook is 12 hours. Yeah, and then people on the East Coast are like, yeah, I just walked across state lines. It took me like 30 minutes. All right, that's fine. I was thinking Pokey Stick, which is why, but like, you're not gonna Pokey Stick first just in case I'm gonna play Aegis. It still wouldn't work. I'd still kill these. Purified. They could have like a Quietus or another Glimpse, but we just don't really care about those. So young. I would actually like to trade off Broadwing so that I could Harpy with the Aegis on it. Isn't that exclusively Northeast, not just East? I don't know, dude. Order entropy. A never ending cycle. That's pretty hard to turn down. I mean, Cataclysm on Donger is obviously really good. So maybe we just do that. We try to keep the Donger down. Swift death. Florida and such is the south. That's true, actually. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. Uh, I guess we'll just level her. Do I want to pop it off and put on Aegis? No. The new expansion is so interesting. It makes playing the current cards feel Every kind of boring. I know, I'm, just, I'm just waiting, bro. I'm just waiting. I think in like a little bit, I'm going to go play Kale and Rise and League of Legends. <laughs> I'm so excited about getting to play them. This heals. Yeah. Uh, I like the idea of opening. Threatening Dongster. Dongmeister. Don't play Ryze's dog shit. I know, but I like Ryze. Ryze is like possibly my highest mastery champion outside of Ari. I can play Kale though. I can play Kale mid. My Kale's not that bad. She's all right. And then I can just sit there and chat and be like, don't worry, guys, we scale all the time. Uh, can I actually beat this T-Hex, though? Okay, good luck, have fun. Yeah, he's like, Majin going down to silver, somehow going to find his way, dropping an entire rank. Okay, so... I need to pop this off. A vein. Play Harpy. Give it the Harp. Tumble. And then we win the game. I think our opponent's actually just dead. Because we get we get a scout attack, so we get to attack again. <laughs> nice. Why did cycling weapons heal? Uh okay, so. The bird has three maximum health or whatever, right? And the weapon gives plus one. So when I put the plus one plus one weapon on it, it looks and it says, oh, the bird has three health. Like when you pop the weapon, it's, it's just a weird interaction. I actually did a horrible job of explaining that. 
because I bas it basically comes down to who who knows. It just does. I think we just want fewer here. Mr. Drizoth, sir. Ugh. We have a lot of weapons. Wow, okay. We're all about the weapon masters. I'm gonna take the overwhelm weapon because <laughs> I'd rather hit the scout weapon on like combat cook so that I could um Yeah, this is what I didn't want to see. I wanted anything that gave me like HP or tough. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Wow, bro, that's astounding. Huh. Okay, not the worst thing ever. Um, I think I'm gonna start with Cook. I do love combat rail, but I think this is a pano pain. Don't blink. Okay, that means we get to go Fiora Harp. This deck's not super good at actually like stopping that. Oh, that was a great draw. Now, if we had like Veins, so we can get a Tumble, or we draw a Cataclysm, then we are in. What wondrous discoveries await? Harp me. Very sad. I never hold back. Try me. Easy does it. So we're going to shoot, assuming Drizoth is li very likely going to shoot Fiora. And then I'll fish fight, popping this weapon off and hitting Ezreal. You kind of blown out by any pump spell, but I think you kind of have to like do this. Why pop weapon off? Oh yeah, you're right. I guess we don't have to, huh? Because it's tough. We take no damage. Ha ha. Forgot there was another mode. I think I am absolutely just telegraphing that I have no pump spell. Um, I think fish fight is something I've seen people pick the wrong mode in fish fight so many times. We go again. Best draw is like catch, probably. Okay. Well, here's bird. Without any like actual ways for us to get another attack, we are falling pretty far behind here against the bar. Like just the value and efficiency is gonna kinda put us behind. If we had like one tumble or a cataclysm, I think I would like our spot. Now I definitely don't like our spot. <laughs> now our spot feels very bad. Look here. Persistence is key. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did this transient as long as the body holds blood. As long as the body holds blood. I will cut you down. Oh god. You want to trade? Fourteen. Okay. Ugh. Oh. One of four. <laughs> Basically there. No dessert, no. Yikes. I mean, this is this, like we we really need Harpy to do some serious work here. Uh, I will play the tracker. I think. There's a decent chance I put Pan and Pain on it because all of a sudden it's kind of like a menace.
Yikes. We have Cataclysms in the deck. We have at least two. Possibly three. But Fjord, not Fjord. Seraphine gets to flip here pretty easily, I think. With like double bar, especially in the Bandle deck. Like double bar, just I've played two, uh, uh, is not the draw. Two Conchologists. It's not ideal. I I Shut I up, when I, I can't. food and cooking evil. No, switch those. Third Congologist. Let us take a peek at life, life beneath, beneath the waves. That's pretty good. Fiora is, yeah, without the tough equipment, very easy for them to kill. Bounce. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a Sarah flip this turn. Yup. Like, I can't get through these shitters. We don't have anything else to kill these guys. Again, no Cataclysm. No extra fish fight. My challenger unit got bounced. I was going to hope to just play like this guy next turn, but that's not enough. Should I try to get the Darken Harp off the Harpy? I could switch it to like fish a whack, but I don't know how good that is. Won't be able to kill anything. Like, I get Broadwing and then Weapon, but if I Broadwing then Weapon, I can't Harpy. Double Scout doesn't do anything because we just get blocked here. But I guess we start with it if my plan is to Broadwing, which I think is like the only way we win is if we like Broadwing and our opponent just somehow doesn't have anything to stop it. <clears throat> just like playing another Harpy, I don't think gets us there. We had a pretty poopy hand here. Almost, though. Almost. Like, I think if we had Catch, Vein, or Sharp Sight, we probably would have, if not one, we would have been in a pretty good spot. They do have to remove Harpies twice. They don't actually have to do that. <laughs> they can just kill us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, or Aegis, uh, Cataclysm, another fish fight. Yep. Okay. Fever? No. I'm just like, it's just, I either, um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it just, yeah. Tracker's not actually very good. It just dies to everything. Fior is like fine, I guess. I don't actually want to keep Fior. I do want to keep Aegis though. Um, no, it's just like, it's just like the, the right temperature 
to where if I put on like an extra layer, I get too hot. But this is like a really thin shirt and I'm not wearing anything underneath. <laughs> so I get cold. It's over 9,000! Cat Dad plays. Thanks for the two months, dude. Keep up the great stuff. I will. Thank you. All I have is great stuff. This is a pretty decent curve. If we can hit like a vein. Oh, Cook's nice. Oh, I do love refilling spell mana. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take combat reel. Like, the tough weapon's better, but if I can hit the tough weapon off combat cook, it's even better. Are you going to pass? You are. All right, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a good start to a setup here. Plus, like, this is always nice, right? Harpy plus harp. Harp. Harpy! Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm just gonna play this. Uh, take the overwhelm one. Okay, rude. Bring it. I'll block. I ain't scared of you. Oh, look at another one. A good fight's the spice of life. New cards look insane. You want to make something crazy with the Aonia landmark and the weapon with ephemeral? Oh, yeah. It does sound pretty good. All right. So we're getting hit with um, block here. Which is fine, because I can just fish fight after. This is, like, getting close to being a problem. Uh, Harpy, do we want to put Aegis on? Or a Harp? I mean, Harp is generally better, but... It's really hard for them to kill things through ages. So if they play a unit, then probably harp. Like a fish in Except that unit. That's a small unit. So I'm thinking now it's probably just ages. When I want to have Jaral, Ja Rule as an option against this list, kind of, yeah. But I like the harp thing <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Okay. Homeboy down. Homeboy down. It's cost what, eight? No dessert, yeah. no. No dessert. Okay. Why are you here? Expected. Try again. Oh, damn. Rather be sailing. If I had that one, we could have put it on here. No, one short, one short. That heals it. Let's go. The hair's different? My hair? Yes, it is, actually. When's the next up with on? It's gonna be a while. <laughs> a while. A mirror, huh? Oh, Freljord. Huh. Like, I think Harpy's really good, but I don't want to do my opener. I really want to find Vayne. We haven't seen Vayne in, like, four games. Uh, next season starts on Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? Yeah, seven days from now. Got D1, couldn't hit Masters? Oh, you can do it this time. 
you can hit diamond one, you can hit masters. Just some time. The hair looks good. Oh, thank you. You only say this because you're self-conscious after haircuts? Wow, that's the only reason you would say it? Not because you actually think my hair looks good? It's kind of messed up, man. Kind of hurting my feelings over here. I needed to get it cut because it was, um, it was all, why am, am I not getting, like, all the game sounds? Um, because it was all, all right, sounds like it. I have auto pass on. What podcast? The Mastering Your Terror one? There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of weapons here and absolutely nothing else. Determined format, ending day one, having to go into day two, despite already having five wins. Good matchup with bad draws, you can't do much about. Yeah, just is what it is. All the decks feeling like shit going into the tournament. Yeah, that was the big one that I didn't expect. So everything felt so bad. <laughs> Alright. I like passing. Bane. <laughs> I want to draw Bane! What is your hand? I think every prep group was panicking. They just didn't get it, but it turns out... Yeah, everything just sucked. Like, <laughs> that was, that was kind of what it was. And then, like, the big one for me was... There was stuff that were, like, bad matchups on, like, paper. But then you'd play them and you're like, oh, it's not, it's not like really a bad matchup. Do you just not have any cards in your deck? Another fish fight? Uh, yeah, whatever. I guess I'm just jamming. I could try to sneak in two more damage by slipping on harp. Or I could like just play jaw rule. Watching from the waitlist felt very silly. Silly, y'all had to come back just for two rounds. It sucked. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was not fun. It crawls in me. I don't want to give my opponent priority, so I'm just gonna catch. If they have Brittle Steel, I get blown out, but that's like the only card because everything else get, costs too much. They can't troll chant. It costs four here. Nice. Couldn't sleep because you were so in the zone and wired for my games, figuring it is on day one. Yeah, I kind of had the same thing. And then, like, I felt good. Going to the next day, and then just, yeah, it just didn't happen. Which sucked. It was a very punishing format. That was a fantastic draw. Our opponent has played one card. <laughs> the only card they played was Screeching Dragon on turn five. Like, that's not ideal, man. It crawls in me. Do you see? They probably have, like, the double freeze. Right? So I'm going to keep that in mind. But, um... Yeah, I just don't think that's enough. I'm sorry, what? That was unexpected. Really no way to play around the double freeze, so I'm just going to slam it in there. Format reminds you of OG Seasonals. Yeah, it's fun, but it's like, this is not what I want for my competitive format, right? I guess I could technically get like buried in ice, so I'm not going to play the castaway. away. 
It's also really rough, yeah, because if you like, if you don't 4-0, like, if you don't 4-0, which like, let's be honest, it's a tournament against like some of the best people, you have to get lucky. Right, like to 4-0 worlds, you have to get lucky, um, which is how tournaments work. That's like fine, right? I can I can get behind that. Um, but then like, if you just don't 4-0, your chances of winning or making it to world's top 16 are like nothing. Going like going seven one is really fucking hard. <laughs> I know, like I had to do it last time and it was miserable. And then trying to do it again, I was just like, God, this fucking sucks. I just don't like that. I would just rather have like just slam all the regions together, play a 14 round Swiss tournament, and then cut. That'd be sick. I'd love that. Two days Swiss, like a Grand Prix or a Pro Tour. Hi y'all! <laughs> Freeze this one. Ah, I love that guy. Even being 5-1, I had the same record as Roji. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Come on. How many 4-0 in top 16? Four. So you basically either 4-0 or you don't make it. That's pretty much what it is. Like you can, like I said, you can get really, really lucky, but only two X and ones make it. So if you don't 4-0, you have to like 7-1 or like Roji 3-0'd and then he just had to win like two. 